My name is Grace and I'm part of Kenya's Summer Research Institute program here at the University of Delaware. My main research that I'm doing here is working with beneficial insects in waste management, specifically black soldier flies. Unlike most flies, which are associated with being nuisances, these flies are not considered pests at all. They don't bite people and are beneficial decomposers in their larvae stage due to their efficiency in consuming large amounts of waste. One of the experiments I've been working on tests their decomposing efficiency as I want to know how effective black soldier flies are in breaking down horse manure and whether their presence can also bring other benefits, such as if their consumption of horse manure can also reduce the number of parasites through eggs found in said manure, specifically cyathostomin, which is a type of parasite commonly found inside the horse's large intestines. The experiment starts with taking 200 black soldier fly larvae and placing them inside a closed container with ventilation and adding 100 grams of food, which is either chicken feed, Gainesville diet, a diet made up of corn, wheat, and alfalfa, and horse manure, with manure coming from one horse that isn't infected and the other that is infected with the said parasite. Larvae are analyzed every week starting from day zero for their weight, length, and how many of them reach the pre-pupa stage. The amount of food remaining in the container is also weighed weekly, on top of replacing it with 100 grams of fresh food based on the treatment. This experiment goes on for about two to three weeks depending on the age of the larvae due to their short lifespan. The results from the experiment show evidence that when larvae are present in horse manure infected with cyathostomin, the density of their eggs decrease as the containers with larvae always showed lower egg densities compared to containers with just the infected manure indicating that when larvae consume the manure, they also lower the amount of parasites found in said manure. Meanwhile, the results for larvae show some differences in variables measured between the control, which were treatments like chicken feed and Gainesville diet, versus horse manure. For example, as shown on the graph, larvae consumed more of the control diet percent-wise compared to manure. While manure diets show more consistency and less variation with one another, larvae are shown to be less well-off compared to control, as larvae on a manure diet have a lower average length, mass, and number of prepupa, with prepupa being significant because it indicates the larvae is ready to metamorphosize into an adult. Surprisingly though, the mortality rate of larvae in a manure-only diet is lower than larvae on the control diet in some of the trials, which shows that while the larvae are more nutrient deficient with their smaller size and weight compared to control, they are still able to survive just as well as a control diet. Despite the experiment done in a lab setting, which doesn't guarantee the same results in the real world, I believe the results given can still hold significance for the future of using black soldier flies and waste management with other uses for black soldier flies on the rise as well besides composting, such as upcycling as feed for livestock, understanding their relationship with parasites found in said livestock is essential. While using black soldier flies and waste management is still relatively new, research like this gives them an even brighter future.